What if there was an easy way to make good luck flow in your home and at the same time to simplify your everyday life? Well, stay tuned. I'll be back in 10 seconds to give you three simple interior design tips to create feng shui in your home. Hey there. My name is Charlene Ionescu. Welcome to Interior Design Revealed. If this is your first time here, and if you would like to learn more about interior design, start now by subscribing. Better yet, join my Interior Design Revealed Club for free. There's a lot to say about feng shui, but today I am going to show you simple ways to create feng shui in your home. So what is feng shui? Well, Feng Shui is the Chinese art of placement. It's been practiced for over 3000 years and it's all about movement and circulation. The objective of Feng Shui is to create harmony and balance in your life. You see, Feng Shui is warning us against harmful energy and it's also showing us how to deflect those negative vibes more importantly, how to avoid living in unhealthy environments. In other words, Feng Shui is all about creating more harmony and more balance in your life, in your house, and that will encourage good luck to flow in abundance. Now, let's talk about your three simple and easy interior design tips to create Feng Shui in your home. Tip number one, declutter a Feng Shui home is a clutter-free home. This being said, the first step towards having a feng shui home is to create a clutter-free environment in your living and your workspaces. Because we all know that a cluttered, disorganized, and messy home has stagnant energy. And I think we can all agree that stagnant energy drains energy from you. But there's more. In addition to being clutter-free, your house should have good air quality and good lighting because a stuffy and dark house won't cut it. So it's now time to assess your home one room at a time. Go ahead and pare down your possessions to a manageable amount. Take into consideration what's meaningful to you and remove those objects that have become useless and that are just cluttering your life since your life has to be decluttered, your house has to be decluttered, your workspace has to be decluttered. Only keep the objects and the artwork that really inspire you. By keeping your home decluttered, you will refresh its energy and that will encourage good luck to flow in your life. You know, decluttering will make living in your home a lot easier and you'll simplify your everyday life, both emotionally and physically. And that, I think, has to be the best kept secret about Feng Shui. Tip number two, let the key flow. Key is the force that brings good luck in your life. It's the way the energy moves and circulates around you. As a reference, just know that the key energy moves through your home the same ways as you do. So if you can walk comfortably through every room of your home, it will be easy for the key to circulate smoothly. But if you're always walking around the furniture to get from point A to point B, then you know that the key will also have a hard time getting through your house. Here's what you can do to make the key energy flow smoothly in your home. Your goal is to make sure that you can easily circulate in each room. So to do that, position your furniture in comfortable arrangements. Look at the placement of your furniture. Does the layout work for you? And while you're at it, check to see if there's enough space between your furniture and if you have the right clearances. Because if the furniture layout is awkward, the chances are that there are too many pieces of furniture in the room. You also need to make sure that you can easily travel between each room. The good news is that's easily done, especially if you've decluttered already. 
In general, the shortest travel distance between rooms is usually the most convenient traffic pattern to move throughout your home. Let me give you some easy tools that you can use to activate the key energy in your home. The first tool that I'd recommend is a mirror. Mirrors are especially practical in small spaces. They not only double the size of an area, but they are great at redirecting the flow of energy. Now, if what you want is to balance structural flaws in your home, like a column or a beam, then use crystals. Crystals will help you lift any stuck or stagnant energy in your home. To diffuse poison arrows, such as a protruding corner, well, all you need to know is that either plants or flowers can deflect that type of negative energy. And in addition, they will keep the air fresh and bring life in your home. Remember, you will feel a lot more positive once the key energy flows gently throughout your home. Tip number three, think colors. We all know that colors play a huge role in our lives. They sure have a lot of influence on us. But when it comes to our home, colors are definitely an easy solution to make it more beautiful. So to create harmony in your home, simply choose to live with colors that you like. You know, use your favorite colors. Use them wherever you feel like it. It will make you feel good and you will really like what that does to your space as it will give it a personal and unique feel. An added bonus is that it will give you a sense of well-being and that feeling will bring positive energy in your life. Here's how colors can affect your moods. Take the color blue for example. Blue is cooling, it's calming and it's soothing. Those qualities make it the perfect color for your bedrooms and for your meditation room. You can use blue in just any other area of your home where you want to feel peaceful. On the other hand, the color red can be very stimulating. It is a dominant color. We usually connect it with prosperity and uh, yes, with passion too. However, to avoid feeling overwhelmed by the color red, it might be best to use it in small touches. As for the color yellow, well, it's considered an excellent choice for a kitchen and that's because it's known to help digestion. So if there's someone in your household with digestion issues, seriously consider using the color yellow. And if you're looking for a color that represents growth and that at the same time will give you a feeling of peace all around you, just like in nature for example, then the color green is your answer. There you have it my three simple interior design tips to create feng shui in your home. I hope that you found this information useful and helpful. I appreciate your time, thank you. If you want to learn more about interior design, again, subscribe and you'll have a chance to see more videos like this one. If you like this video, well, please share it with your friends and family. Here's another idea. Join the Interior Design Reveal Club. It's free and that way you won't miss a thing and you will be part of my design community. Become a member now. I'll see you at the club and until then, take care and have a great day.